All right, guys, here's an old trick. Um, I need to make a coped cut. And so specifically, you know, I want to cut this pipe and make a template uh, that I can wrap around the pipe. And uh, yeah, so I can easily scribe it and make a cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trick from a previous tip I gave you. I've got a library feature here that's going to give me a slit. So I can just easily reattach this feature. here. Um, really nice when you know you're using that same thing over and over again to save out a library feature to easily be able to recreate it without having to you know completely re redimension the whole sketch and do all that fun stuff. But now that I have that slit in this, um, what I can easily do is go over to my sheet metal tab, and I can click on Insert Bends here, and I'm going to click on the outside radius of this, um, and this will only work if it's a a continuous radius. Um, there's other ways to convert to sheet metal if it's other things, or you might even be able to use the flattened surface tool, depending on what the surfaces you're trying to get this template for. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And you'll notice in the tree over on the left here, we'll see uh, a new sheet metal feature, the flattened pattern, uh, uh, sorry, sheet metal flat pattern, as well as the flattened and process bends. And that will allow us to just go ahead and flatten this out. All right? If you wanted to make a drawing, we could easily just Go up, make a new drawing, and we'll just use that part that we have. Um, because it's a multi-body part, I would do select bodies here, click on that body that I had, and because it's a sheet metal body, I can use flat pattern here, make sure that I'm inserting it at one-to-one, -one, which is, I think, my sheet scale here with this large drawing, and there we go. Uh, so something I can easily print out, wrap around the pipe, um, something to keep in mind too with this. Um, if this was something you're doing all the time, um, you could easily, you know, save it somewhere where you could access it all the time, or you could always make yourself a start part. So if we go up and do a save as, we could save this as a part template right here. I call this coped. And what that allow me to do is instead of having to recreate this part all the time, and trust me, I created this a couple of times in 2D back in the day when I was, uh, you know, doing engineering work. Um, what I could do is I could just go up and hit new now, and I have this new option for a cope. All right, and then I could change the angle, do whatever it is I need, and all of my features and stuff are ready to go. So. Um, hopefully, you can use one of those two strategies, um, whether it's you know creating that flat pattern part or just saving a part as a template um, so that you have something to start from. But hopefully, one of these help you guys. Have a great day.